So welcome, and I'd like to take you along to see some of the big plants in our gardens. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, this first one is the Donti in Vietnam, which gives this really big kind of like a tennis ball sized uh, fruit. And when dried, these fruits can be used you know, again for many purposes. This is the umbrella plant, uh, which is really easy to take care of. It likes a bit of water, a bit of sunlight. Uh, this one is the Konite in size. So it blossoms at around 10 a.m. and then by evening it closes and waits for the next morning. This is the rose apple tree from our neighbor's house actually, but you can see it giving fruit here. And we have uh, here a beautiful orange Don uh, Rampoi, you know, which flowers and it has uh, these little fruits, uh, green fruits if you can see here, but they turn into a black color later on. It has a bit of a smell, but we think the flowers are really pretty, and especially the small leaves. The central tree actually comes up from our neighbor's house, but we uh, share the tree and the plants together. And here you can see when they've just started coming out, and they've, you know, we've really been very productive this year, but really big ones. And, um, we wrap them in order to prevent uh, pests and uh, the squirrels. And here we have a ripe santa ready to be made into a Thai dessert. It's been raining, so my jasmine plant tree is now flowering. And you can see how beautiful it is. And it also has a faint smell. Beautiful. Here we have another hedge flower. It's called uh, Don Supercho. It's a type of jasmine and really cute little flowers. This is another one of my favorite plants. Uh, we give this as gifts to all our wedding guests in uh, the purple color. This is the white one. And you can see that it's So this candle-like flowers. In Thai it's called Tian Tong, which means the um, golden candles. I think probably from these little ones. So uh, this is our little orange tree, or kumquat tree, and we were inspired to plant this after our visit to Portugal on the honeymoon, where there grew lots of beautiful orange trees. It makes me smile every time I look at it. So here you can see um, there's one kumquat, which is ripe, and they're the size of a small golf ball, and they made marvelous. Marmalade, and we also put it when we roast chicken. Um, you can use it for lots of stuff, really. And we've had lots of sun and rain this year, so it's been really good. So, this is um, the date tree in Thai, and it's one of our hanging plants, and I really love it. So, this is um, this in Thai is called Don Hu Gajong, and it's um, really big. Uh, tree is probably around five meters high and it provides a lot of shade for the house and we already cut it back significantly um, during the storm last year but it just continues to grow. This is uh, Don Gale uh, which we grow along our fence so along the entire fence and it gives us a lot of shade and it flowers really all year round with very fragrant uh, little uh, white flowers and the bees love it and we love it so I think it's great for the ecosystem and us as well. This uh, next tree is the Indian oak which is very special in that it, um, it flowers at night with these beautiful uh, red flowers. Uh, it likes a lot of water uh, which we are in kind of swampy land and it's um, 
really, really special. Here you can see it's uh, blooming at night, and by morning, you know, all the red flowers are gone. But they come in these beautiful um, garlands, you can see garlands of red flowers. So a banana tree has been with us since the wedding where the groom has to carry banana tree and generations later we are still ha having fruit and this is the fruit right, of the so banana. Remember our big uh, banana tree? We had a storm the other day and it fell down so these are our bananas we shall now just on the ground and I suppose we won't get to eat them after all so we now have raw bananas and a lot of banana leaves which is really a shame but then um, with the rain and the sun this tree has really 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 blossomed it's beautiful. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.